Hello everyone, welcome to Jurisa Academy. Today we are going to talk about a very important personality, CGI in the Ramana. On 26th August 2020, he retired from the post of Chief Justice. Now today, in this video, we are going to talk about some important dates from his life and also some remarkable judgment that he has been part of and some important observations that he has made during his tenure. Now, let's start the video. Now, before starting the video, I need to tell you a very important thing. The first is, so kindly subscribe to the Telegram channel because every day 100 sub students are participating in the quiz that we are conducting. And the second thing, please check out the course on CLAC PG 2023 that is live and for four months preparation is very suitable it's including of everything like classes art core material software material uh, case analysis and mocks as well now let's get to the today's discussion in Biraman. now first i'm going to talk about some important dates and then i'm going to talk about some important judgment and then observations and then we'll go to the conclusion so let's start with some important dates regarding this life Indiravana was born on 27th August 1927 in an agrarian family. In his student life, he was really activist, supporting the civil liberties. And then um, he, uh, after a brief tenure as journalist, he enrolled himself as an advocate on uh, 10th February 1983. And after that, during the advocacy tenure, he served as additional standing counsel for central government of India also served as a standing counsel for railways um, in central administrative tribunal and not only that he served as additional advocate general of Andhra Pradesh. Now after that let's look at some important dates from his judiciary career. On 27 June 2000 he became the permanent judge in the Andhra Pradesh High Court. Now after that on 2nd September 2013, he became the Chief Justice of Delhi High Court and after that, in 2014, he became the Supreme Court Judge and on 16th April 2021, he was appointed as the Chief Justice of India by Ramnath Kovind. Now, these are the very important dates that I have shared with you. Now, we are going to get into the most important thing that is some remarkable judgment that has been part of and some important observations. So, let's get into that thing. Now, first case that we're going to talk about that is Central Public Information Officer versus Subhash Chandra Agarwal. It's a very important case in relation to uh, RTI and the CGI office. Five judge bench, including Enemy Ramana, held that uh, CGI office is public authority and is under the purview of RTI. So, as a result, all the SC charges and uh, the, their assets have to be made available to the public. Now, in this particular case, N.B. Ramana wrote a separate concurring judgment and also stated that this particular particular RTI tool cannot be misused to um, hamper the administration of justice. Now, let's talk about another very important case in 2019, Anuradha Washington Resident of India, where the bench, um, including N.B. Ramana, in, um, wrote the majority judgment in Anuradha Washington judgment and um, this case is known as Jammu and Kashmir Internet Issue case where he stated and held that uh, right to trade over the internet is fundamental right and it is protected under article 19.1a freedom of speech and expression and also internet cannot be suspended for indefinite period of time. Anuradha Washington is a very famous judgment that he has been part of. Now another let's get into some criminal cases that uh, where he has been part of. One of the criminal cases that may be mentioned that is Mohammed Anwar versus state of NCT Delhi, where section 84 has been the topic of discussion. Supreme Court established a test to apply um, how to find out the unsoundness of mind of the accused. And Supreme Court said uh, that uh, the evidence has to be shown in that regard is serious enough mental disease that has to be shown or some kind of infirmities that accused cannot be able to distinguish between right and wrong okay now in this particular case uh, the accused only show caused the uh, outpatient doctor information and uh, some accused mother's statement to uh, to show that he is unsound mind which has been outright rejected in this case 
Now let's talk about another very important case that NB Ramana has been part of that is Roger Matthew vs State India Bank Limited. Now this case is in relation to section 184 of Finance Act 2017 and which has been upheld by the five judge bench in relation to um, that it is not excessive dele delegation of legislative function but court struck down um, some appellate tribunal rule which is in contrary to section 184 of Finance Act and also principles in research in the Indian Constitution. Now let's to look at another very recent one that's um, Pegasus Snoopware case and in that case though the recently the founding is going on the case is pending uh, recently this uh, expert committee has submitted some kind of report where the five malwares or in five four mobile phones malwares have been found though those are uh, Pegasus or not that hasn't been confirmed well, while I am recording the video uh, now um, in that Supreme Court appointed an expert committee to check 29 mobile phones where uh, the malware has been found or not and uh, CJ Romano was part of that. Now let's look at the another very important case, another criminal case that he has been part of that is Ram Ratan vs State of Madhya Pradesh. This is a case in regards to section 397 of Indian Penal Code whether um, an accused can be held liable under section 397 where there is no indication of any evidence of firearm that has been used in the case but Supreme Court um, bench including enemy Ramana said uh, no any mere exhibition and brandishing of any firearm um, can lead to apprehension of fear in the victim's mind and that can lead to an offense section 397 opinion penal code so only one of the accused has done that okay so then in that case only one accused will be uh, held liable under section 397 not the all accused that's also been said so there are various important judgment there has been part of let's look at the last final judgment that he has been part of which is uh, 2022 judgment that is BLA industry limited now BLA industry limited case may basically supreme court uh, imposed one lakh fine on um, union government for incorrectly putting one company's name in cold gate scam okay uh, because you know, India has put that company's name in illegal coal block allotment which Supreme Court outrightly rejected and they have proved it that they have done it through the legal load itself okay so this is the some cases um, that uh, NB Ramana part of but recently another very important case I do need to mention where NB Ramana's observation has been of uh, utter value that we need to look into that is SG Bombardkare versus Union of India now recently you might have seen that um, sedition laws, UAPA, a lot of uh, statutes, these kind of statutes have been used by the central government uh, to uh, choke the rights, the fundamental rights of comedian, journalist, okay, social activist. Now, in that case, Emi Ravana uh, vociferously supported um, and said that section 124A uh, has to be gone, okay. Uh, the, this this is a colonial section this has no place in independent india and uh, this the cases are very low that has been registered under section 124a of indian penal code but um, the bench including enemy ramana directed the central government that not to register any fir under section 124a uh, for the time being. So these are the very famous um, judgments that he has been part of or a very famous statement that he has made during his tenure as Chief Justice of India. Now um, after that you Lalit will become the Chief Justice of India and one very important thing uh, when Enmi Ramana took the office of Chief Justice of India the Chief Justice post and the judiciary was under serious threat in relation to civil rights protection. The people were talking and people were raising fingers against um, judiciary for not supporting or upholding the fundamental rights of uh, social activists, the journalists and uh, comedians, all those um, various cases 
were going on the no bail were given by the judiciary there are a lot of cases that were going on so cj ramana has really looked lived up to the expectation in relation to these cases and uh, is one of the cj that will really be remembered for the all the judgment that is made but what do you think about the cj ramana's tenure um, any comment that would be definitely be entertained in the comment box uh, make sure karo aapke comment likho and don't forget to subscribe the channel because every day we are coming up very important legal event talk and also important legal talk and also preparation channel is also there we are going to talk about various llm exam preparations uh, that we talk about in this uh, on this particular channel so don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so until next time we're going to meet again talk about some very important topic of the week okay thank you see you soon